Skadesh, walk one. Bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope y'all doing well. So we have coming up in the topic Spice React after her baby father seems to leak information to Futa Hype. Usain Bolt statue worth $250,000 to up controversy in Florida. Nomination for the best reggae album category Grammy Awards will announce tomorrow. Futa Hype respond after Bunty speak and the police expose picture of a man responsible for killing his 16 year old niece. Yo! Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad, and we mad at Dan, everything we mad. Alright, so before we get into a recent post from Spice and also a video with Futa Hype not too long ago. Let's kick off the vlog right here as Usain Bolt statue worth over 200,000 US dollars is like it a cause some amount of controversy in Florida. So according to South Florida Sun Sentinel, the discontent stems from the cost of the monument which is set at $250,000 and that is approximately 38 million Jamaican dollars. Well, as for some officials push for this to happen, some people are disapprove of it, saying that it is a waste of taxpayers' money and you know that's in America and Usain Bolt is a Jamaican. So, some of them might have looked upon it away, say Usain Bolt come from Jamaica and I get such a expensive statue in our country that a way some people might have seen no. but we can't deny the fact still you seen bolt is a great athlete that people look up to from all across the world you see me but you all think about this expensive statue set to put up with Usain Bolt. Okay, so recently Futa Hype went live and he actually breaks silence after Bunty. To me, it seems as if Bunty was chewing shade in a recent post right here when him say some little low life skirmish was tagging me about other people business decisions or choices to each his slash her own who left me alone and got lid on. Simeon Bunty went on and on in the post which lead people to say that he was dissing Futa Hype in that post right there when he says some little low life skirmish because that post came right after Futa Hype tagged him and Spice when he said that he never expect two persons he never expect to do something like what Spice recently did as she headlined Toronto Pride show for 2022 was Bunty and Spice so it's like foot type was on his live recently you know this bunty or anything like that but because some people were mentioning bunty name on his live because after what bunty go say and some people pick up and realize that a foot hype him attack is like foot type i say him have a problem with bunty him deal with that himself you know it's like people were expecting Futa hype to rant and go on over social media, but no, check out Futa hype reaction right here. And killer. Nobody can program me for this bunty killer. It can't happen. I know some of my team set up. You understand what I say? Me have a problem with killer, me deal with it myself. You see me, but nobody can come trick me for help them this bunty killer. No, can't happen. Yo. You understand what I mean? Hold on, I'm a black person. Remember black I kings going over here regular. So regular with black people over here. So yeah, yeah, talk. Anytime yeah. nobody talk to me in a light, then get black over here. May I make my speech when I ask for your opinion? Yeah, so. Yeah. Big up Bunty Killer. Me and Bunty Killer were them between me and him. Nobody can program me for this kill. Move out of the same thing. Yeah. Me and Move out of the own problem, them. Yeah. Nobody can tell me. I program me for this mother. You understand me, I say? I must me want to do that myself when me have my own problem. You get me? Yeah. So nobody never feel like then can come program me. You can't program footer. 
Yeah, man, I love black people. Me love, me love black people and I love black people. Oh. Yeah, so now if you know that. Oh. Yeah, so as me I say, what does I deal with our thing? Nobody can program me, nobody can feel like say them can just say anything and foot a run go answer them. Cause I don't want to get famous on Instagram or I don't want to look a clout and them something. Like that. No, that not gonna happen. You understand? That will never happen. Certain people in my life, nobody can program me to style them. I feel like when I can say nothing and let me go style them. Me, if they offend me and do something where me not agree with, yeah, me just go deal with them and me and them worry it out. You see me? But nobody can program me for this bounty killer. Yeah, Zim, you just learn that now. So I'm gonna listen to some people when they talk. You hear that? Good. Right. Anyway, I don't know my thing already. Straight, big up straight nation, and the new thing. New thing named straight nation. Remember, we now incite violence. We now say, if you do nothing to nobody, we are talk where we are dealing. You cannot take away your PhD that. You cannot lock you up for that. We don't care what them are dealing with. A straightness we are dealing with. Them cannot stop we from promote what we are do. We are dealing with straightness. So me start a thing named Straight Nation and adapt me I work with. If you're not part of Straight Nation, you can kindly go. You can leave us. So all of the straight woman, them and the straight man, them and the straight picnic them over yes. Alright, so Futa Hype start out a thing named Straight Nation. We know say I'm gonna run with that. So after Futa Hype make a post upon him IG right here as I can see. What an interesting conversation. So much things I never know. Wow. You know, and in post Spice Baby Father on his IG along with this caption right here. So it seems as if Spice Baby Father talk some things about her with Futa Hype. That's how we get from this, you know, as Futa Hype put this out. And me I tell you, as a man straight up, me not like that movie. If me and a girl usually there, and you know, if you are downfall or anything, me not go talk nothing about her personal life or anything like that, you know, if we bring her down. Because this move right here, way me go get out of it. You know, if you are linked with Spice, somebody who wants Spice in an argument currently, make them sort out that themselves. Don't bring information about our past and them things there. If you try get at her, you know, foot a hype and her have them difference and things. Them in the music industry. But right here, me I tell you, when me get from this as foot a hype, put it out. You know, I go see the post now because him delete the post. As you can see, him say, What an interesting conversation. So much things I never know. Wow. Posting Spice Baby Father is like a something him tell for the hype. You know? But after that, now we see Spice make a post today on her social media. It's like this thing I go back and forth, back to back. You know, as Spice post something, Futa I post something. But. We hope this are the last and them just get over it. So this is the last post from Spice after Futa Hype had a conversation with her baby father. So it's like right here we see Spice put this out not too long ago. Black and beautiful and me not bleach. Me not pre and me not chat. And me not eye girl. Me money make them act suicidal. Some boy fake like me wig them. Oh lord. Yes people. So it's like... Spice remix the song and say some boy fake. You see me? Yeah man, she not talk about no girl right here so. And it's like Spice right here react after all she see what go on on social media with Futa Hype and her baby father Nicholas Lal who she and him always go at it over social media and it seems as if him, him always willing to go at it with her because Look where Futa Hype go put out now, you know, and it's like she a true word at him too because in one part, you know, this is from a song by the way, but it's like she do it in a remix way, in a dissing way, you see me, she said, me no pre and me no chat, 
me no eye girl you see me so spice put that out after footer i put out something yesterday saying that him have a conversation enough things him never know and all type of stuff yeah people but you know we just hope spice and the two of them career at me not gonna lie so we just hope I hate this year man, we just hope, just call it a controversy and move on with Uno career. The two are no book out, but as for that thing with Spice headlining Toronto Pride, Futa Hype now go accept that, but we see him around with a thing called Straight Nation, so I guess this controversy here lead Futa Hype to do that, give him some inspiration to do that. Okay, so earlier I mentioned a man who the officers exposed him picture for taking out his grandniece. Yes, people, as me I do this vlog, me get some update on the matter. He is now captured. 46 year old Glenford Henry, who was wanted in connection for taking out his 16 year old grandniece on Saturday, was held in Seaview Gardens about 4 30 pm today. So, Yes people, that are the update on the matter. Initially, I was gonna talk about it as if like, you know, he's wanted but now them all on for him and we just glad that happened. So, I don't know a man to do that to him when he's still. Janu. People, as we move on to the next topic, the Grammy Awards. Alright, so many artists submit their album but who will make the cut in the best reggae album category for the Grammy Awards? So tomorrow, we're looking forward to that as the nomination for the best reggae album category in the Grammy Awards will be announced tomorrow. Yeah, people, tell me what are your prediction? Well, so far, me say the Jamaica Observer put out an article right here with some of the artists who likely to get nominated for the 64th Grammy Awards in the Best Reggae Album category. So right here we have Sean Paul, Joe Mercer Marley, you know, Grams Morgan, Revolution, also Soja. So those are few artists among the 120 submit for the Best Reggae Album category. 